Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome. On this video, I'm gonna be covering the installation of the ultimate bunk boards. I just received them today. I'm gonna to be swapping out the old bunk boards that are on my boat trailer. The ones on my boat are about two and a half years old and have pretty much started rotting away and have some weird growth on the bottom. So hang out and let's get these ultimate bunk boards installed. So these are my old boards that are on right now that are deteriorating away. And as you can see, they've got weird growth. When I cut these off, they look like mushrooms. So pretty gross. We're gonna replace these and get those composite ultimate bump boards installed. All right, so I got a DIY hole set up. I just used my car jack from my SUV. I lifted the boat up the frame, the trailer itself. I put two jack stands in the back and when I lowered the boat or lowered the trailer, it raised the boat off the bunk. So I'll be able to do one side at a time. As you can see, we've got space to work with. And I just have two jack stands set up on the stand and a carpeted two by four to hold the transom up. And we've got plenty of room to work with to remove the old bunk and put in the ultimate bunk board. All right, we're gonna go ahead and remove Condition. It's just the bumps after two years have rotted away. Could have probably gotten away with just saving these. These are in great condition. And I'm going to go around and uh, just get all these removed and get the bunk off. As you can see, I had some weird growth happening on these bunks. They're like mushroom looking things growing out of the woods. So definitely it was time to replace them. This is the biggest pain in the butt of the process. So as you can see, these bunks are in terrible condition for two year old bunks. They're completely waterlogged, deteriorated. We have all kinds of growth coming out. So we'll definitely be happy with the new composite. Um, I'm gonna remove the carpet off the bunks, clean out all the staples. So I have a flat surface and then drill the pilot holes through onto the composite board so they match identical to where the old bunk boards were. Got the carpet removed. I've got it lined up with the new Ultimate Bunk Board and I'm just gonna drill pilot holes using the existing holes from the old bunks. And the drill bits for the pilot holes per the ultimate bunk board's recommendation is just one eighth drill bit going down to one and a quarter in depth. I went ahead and measured out the drill bit to one and a quarter, so I just put some painter's tape on it so I know when I hit that one and a quarter. Just so you know how rotted these are, 
I barely put any pressure on. There were cracks all over them. Man, I replaced them right on time. Ugh, horrible, horrible condition. One hole from the old bunk doesn't quite line up, so probably drill another one. What I'm gonna do now is just put one in each just so it's on evenly. going to get these going and then hand tighten them you don't want to over tighten them you just want it just when you get resistance and they're tight all right first bunk is on pretty simple process initially i was kind of worried because I ordered the eight foot and it's not quite eight foot. And I was worried it may be too short, but it turned out just fine. All right, we're gonna raise it up. Get it off the jack stands. All right, that should do it. Okay. I think it's good. Both sides are done. What I figured out is the old boards, the holes didn't match up perfectly. They were off about an inch. So one board was out longer on the hole, along the hole than the other one. So I measured eight inches. So from the back of the bracket to the front of this board is exactly eight inches and so is the other one and it works out perfect and uh there's room on the back for the transom as well so something to keep in mind so i hope this video helped you guys um they're super sleek easy to get your boat on and off the trailer it'll just slide right off the carpeted bunks i had her back way up get that transom floating pretty good and power reverse to get it off the uh off the trailer but these bunks supposedly as soon as you get it in the water get it uh, where you want it if you release that wench in the front it's just going to slide right off so be careful because they are slick all right i hope this video helped everybody if you have any questions leave it in the comments if you like the video subscribe and hit that like button we'll see ya